good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone, wherever you are listening to me from. So I just want to sh quickly share uh, the installation procedure for this uh, tiny bit smart robot. So I discovered that some people have some issues assembling it. So I have unpacked the robot, and there are some implements there. You can see this is the robot itself. This is how it came. This is a car robot. Uh, it still needs some peripheral devices to be connected for it to actually function. All right. So we have this uh, roller right in front of it. Uh, we have this roller that we are going to connect. We have this uh, micro bit. This so this is basically the brain behind it. So this is a micro bit that we are going to be writing our code zone. We have the battery. We have the battery that we are going to use to control it. We have uh, these two uh, motors. We have these two motors that we use to control. We have this motor cap. Uh, we have six rivet pins that we used in this demonstration. Uh, sorry, six rivets and six rivet pins that we used, and also two two wheels. All right, so let's let's go ahead and and begin. All right, let's start. To begin, the first thing we need to do is uh, to attach this uh, device. This is like a roller, like a front wheel. We are going to attach it to the car. Now, to do that is actually quite simple. First thing is that uh, this wheel is going to be placed right in front here. It's going to be placed right in front here. Now, you see that there are two holes that have been uh, punctured right here. So, we are going to follow that hole and then orientate it so that it can actually stay inside. But it won't stay like that. We need the rivet. We need the rivet and the rivet pin to hold it. So, I'll pick one of the rivets. So this is just a rivet, rivet, and then I punch it in to enter. So to enter through it and into the O, that's for the first one, and also for the second one. Okay, so that is the rivet. But it's, it's, the rivet alone would not hold it, so I need the rivet pin. So I'm going to get two rivet pins right here. Then the first pin goes over it, and then you have to push it in to, to stick. And the other side as well, to stick. So that is done. And once you, that is done, you can see it there that uh, it's already attached right there. So that is for the front wheel. You can see it's, it's strong now. It's not going to move again. So that is okay. All right. So for the next step, the next step we are going to do is actually uh, kind of the more difficult part. So I need these four rivet, these four rivet and the four rivet pins, and also this motor. Now to install the motor, uh, obviously it's going to come this way. It's going to come this way so wherever you are placing it just make sure that the this uh, open part of this car you can see the open part right here so this open gear part this is the closed part you can see it as i flip it over so that's it that's the closed part and this is the open part now this open part is not going to touch these are uh, this line here so be, be very careful so make sure the open part is right here and then it plugs in this way now to do that just carefully, first and foremost, plug in this uh, connector into this hole. You see that the orientation how it's supposed to be. So it's easily guided. So once you plug it in, that is that. And then also the next thing to do is to actually, you have to be careful actually, because uh, I think the kind, the way they actually attach the gum here, it makes it very difficult to place. So you press it down. You press it down. And then you can see it's staying, it's staying right there. But before you just do that, you also need a cap. You also need this cap. So you place the cap over, over the motor, like that. So you place the cap over the motor, and then you place it on that hole. You see the two holes. You can see that it is attached on the two holes now. And then, like I did earlier, we need the rivet again. So I'll push in the first rivet. Sorry. Alright, so I've pushed in the two rivets now. The next thing is to actually pin it down. So I'm going to place the pin there and then push it in. Push it in. Then for the other side as well, I push it in. I'm sorry. Uh, you have to do it carefully. So I just want to damage the parts. Okay, so it's pinned down now. You can see that it's no longer going to move around. It's not going to move around, so it's pinned down. Then uh, the wheel, I think it's easy to attach the wheel, but we'll do that later. So for the other side as well, you do the same thing. If you look at it carefully, you can see that this part needs to be open, right? It needs to be open. Then you have the cap also. So you place the cap over it. So 
So once the cap is placed over it, you can see that it's going to attach directly on that uh, on that space. So what do you do next? Just connect this, the rivet, to to punch it in. All right. So now I have riveted it. So the next thing is for me to place the uh, rivet pins to stick it in. All right. So and the last rivet pin, push it in. And there you go. So it's now it's now solid now. It's solid now. So the next thing is is to connect the wheel. Now, if you look at the wheel carefully, you see that there is actually a kind of uh, a flat side to it. There's a flat side, and there's a circular side. So the flat side needs to orientate with also the flat side of this. You can see that there's a flat side. So let's do that now. So you have to do it carefully, and don't push don't push it in too too deep. Just stick it in, and that is it. You can see right there. It's just about showing and it's connected. The same thing for the other wheel as well. Uh, be careful when you're pushing it in so that you don't damage the parts. So, so that is it. Okay, so I'm done. All right. Same thing. So you can see that that is that's already set up now. That's already set up now. So the next thing I think is to connect this micro bit. Now, normally this is the proper orientation for the for the micro bit, this is the proper application. This is up, and then you have the button A and the button B, as you can see. So you have button A right there and button B right there. So and then at the back, this micro bit itself it has its own speaker. It has its own speaker uh, and other devices. But when you are, when you connect it to the car, when you connect it to the car, it's going to it can actually play the sound from the speaker. So the the car itself has its own speaker as well. So Take notes. So this is the micro bit. Now you can see this is the up. So for instance, if I say not, this is not. Not is upward. It is this, and south is downward. But the moment you connect it to the car, uh, there's a kind of a slight uh, difference. There's kind of a slight difference. Okay. So once I push it in now, now you can see that this is still not for the micro bit. This is still not, which is up, and this is down. For the micro bit but for the car it has changed because now this is the front for the car which is south south is front and then north is back so that's basically so just take note of the orientation and the same thing goes for the left and right so now the down which is not down is not or back is not south is up and then right is now uh east uh, right is now west and the left is now is so just take note of that as we continue so basically i've connected everything that needs to be connected anytime you want to write a code anytime you want to write anytime you want to write your code so i think what you need is this usb cable you connect it to your micro bits right like this carefully connect your micro bit and then send whatever data you want to send so once you send the data to it, you can uh, disconnect it. But please be careful while you, are, while you are connecting and disconnecting so as not to damage the terminals. So once you have sent the code to it, you just power on your robot car and it begins to function. But you can see that once I'm powering it on now, nothing's actually happening. It's because I'm here to connect the battery. So to connect the battery, it gets, that is fairly easy. Oh, and I forgot to, to actually connect this. So let's do that now. So I've connected it now, and then to connect the battery, just push it in. So that is it. So I've already written a code anyway, so that is why it's doing that. So one of the code I wrote is a kind of a, it's going to follow this line. So I have this as a demonstration. So, so there you go. There you go. So that's the robot car. Uh, don't be surprised if yours is not doing this. It's because I've written a code for it to function this way. So we are going to learn all this as time goes by. So thank you very much for joining us. God bless you.